Hi friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn about slicing and splitting in Python. So let's move to Geeks for Geeks ID to learn about them. Let's first learn about slicing. Slicing can be done on lists, strings and tuples. Slicing in Python can be done in this format. By writing this, we get values from index start to end minus 1 with an index difference equal to step. Let's see this code. We have a list and we are slicing it from index 1 to 4 with the step equal to 1. Let's run this code. We can see that all the values from index 1 to 4 of list L are printed. If we are using positive value of step, then the default value of start and end is the starting and ending index of the list respectively. Whereas, if we are using negative value of step, then the default value of start and end is the ending index and starting index of the list. That is just the opposite as in the case of positive step. Let's look at this example. Here we are using this property to print a list in reverse. By writing this we mean start equal to 4, end equal to 0 and step equal to minus 1. That is values from index 4 to 0 are printed. Let's run this code. We can see that reverse of the list is printed. Now let's learn splitting a string in Python. To split a string we use the split function. This is generally used when we have a string containing the elements separated by a character. It could be a comma, space or anything. Suppose we have a string like this and we wish to have all the names of fruits in a list. So str is a string containing the name of fruits separated by a comma. To have all the name of fruits in a list we write str dot split and within brackets a comma and assign it to a list variable. Let's run this program. We can see that all the elements are now in a list. Let's look at another example. Here we have three values separated by a space. To get these values into three different variables we write a comma b comma c equal to str dot split. If we do not have anything in the argument of split, it takes space as default. Let's run this program. We can see that the value of a, b and c are same as the first, second and third values in the string. So in this tutorial, we discussed splitting and slicing. We will continue learning Python in the coming tutorials. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments in the comment section.